how to add privacy policy to footer in Google Sites. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add privacy policy to footer in Google Sites. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly search for privacy policy generator. And below here, you will be able to see here the result. And below here are some of the given links. And all you need to do is to simply choose this one, which is the second link that you can find, which is privacypolicygenerator.info. By simply clicking on it, you will be directed on this page right here, in which it's a website that offers a service for generating privacy policies for website and applications. And below here, it will show you about this site and what kind of privacy policy it offers. And you will be able to see here on the right side panel to start, click the Start Privacy Policy Generator, or you could simply click or choose either website or application. And in those options, I'm going to choose website since we're going to apply it on our Google Sites. Then proceed by clicking continue and generate privacy policy, then you will be directed on this page right here. And as you can see, the first thing that you need to do is to enter your website URL. So we're just going basically to paste it in here. So just go to your Google Sites platform. And from here, you can start creating your new site. Or alternatively, you could also use some other templates given in here. By simply clicking this template gallery, you'll be able to see here some other templates offer for free on this Google Sites. And after choosing a selected template that you're going to use, from here you could simply customize it including the context in here, the title, and other pages. And if you're not done customizing all of these templates, just proceed by clicking the publish button on the top right corner. And after successfully publishing, you could also enter here the web address and clicking the publish button. And after that, just click this icon on the top panel in order to copy the link of our website. And after copying, just paste it in here. And now the next thing that you need to do is to simply enter your website name in here. So for instance, I'm going to enter here just for bids. Then below, you could also choose your entity type, give your I'm a business or individual. And after that, just proceed by choosing your country. And after selecting your country, you could also enter here or select your state. Then click next step button to proceed. While under privacy policy generator, it will ask you what kind of personal information do you collect from users. We have your email address, first name and last name, phone number, address, social media profile, and many more. And after selecting your answer, just click the next step button below here to proceed. And from here, it will ask you how can users contact you from any suggestions regarding your privacy policy, in which you can choose here your email, in which all you need to do is enter here your email address. Or you could also choose by visiting a page on your website, or using phone number, and even sending a post mail, in which you are required to enter the address in here. But in those options, I'm going to enter or select using or by visiting a page on our website. So I'm just going to paste it, the website in here. And after that, just scroll down below until you click this next step button to proceed. And now under this choose our professional privacy policy, it is only optional so you could also click no I don't want professional privacy policy. If you don't want to upgrade to the professional privacy policy including other provisions in here. And by clicking next step, the next thing that you need to do is to simply enter here your email address to receive the privacy policy. Then proceed by clicking generate button below here to continue. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page right here. And it will ask you to confirm your email address by activating the confirmation email that has been sent to your email address. So just go in here on your email inboxes and just click activate account button right here. And upon doing so, you will be directed on this page. However, just go back to the page in here since we will be able to copy the link or embed link in here. So just scroll down until you click or find copy this to clipboard button below here. And upon copying the HTML code, the next thing that you need to do is simply go to your Google Sites and from here, on the right side panel, just click the pages and you can simply click the plus button in order to add the pages. Clicking new page, it will show you a pop-up window and all you need to do is enter the new page name. So for instance, I'm going to enter here privacy policy. Then proceed by clicking done button below. So as you can see, we have now created a navigation or pages that we can find in here, which includes a privacy policy. And now to start pasting the link that we just copied earlier, just go on the right side panel in here and under insert button, just proceed by clicking embed button below here. And from here, just click embed code on this pop-up window. And on this box below here, just proceed by pasting the HTML code that we just copied earlier. Then click the next button to proceed. And after that, you will be able to see here all of the details including in your privacy policy. And to proceed adding this privacy policy, just proceed by clicking insert button below here. 
and upon clicking on it, you will be able to see the privacy policy in here, in which you could also customize the size of it, the range, and even the size of your privacy policy context by simply dragging it downward to reveal all of the context and overview of the privacy policy. And now that we just successfully add an embed code or HTML code of our privacy policy in our Google Sites, the next thing that we need to do is to simply input here or add it in our footer section. And since we have here navigation of privacy policy on the top panel, all we need to do is to simply hide the navigation button in here. So just proceed by clicking the pages on the right side panel, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you below some of the pages and just click these three dots and it will show you other options than just proceed by clicking hide from navigation, in which upon clicking on it, it will show you that the navigation button has now been hide. Then now let's proceed on our footer section by simply clicking this edit button. For instance, on this home page, under this footer section by clicking this edit footer. Let's say we're going to customize this context right here by simply entering here the context of privacy policy. So just highlight this context and simply enter the word privacy policy in which this will be served as the link or the hypertext link in which if the customer try to click this kind of text they will be directed under the privacy policy that we just created and to do that you can see here some of the option that you can start navigating and to proceed just highlight this context privacy policy and click this embed code then choose the link of privacy policy page and click apply button below here and upon clicking on it it will now show you that when you try to click this privacy policy context, it will show you a link, which is directly or link in our privacy policy pages, which is this one. If you scroll down, you will be able to see your other context or content of privacy policy. All you need to do is wait for it to load, and after that, you will be able to see here the overview of our privacy policy. And now to save the changes that we just add or customize, just proceed by clicking the publish button on the top right corner. And after that, it will show you a pop-up window then just proceed by clicking publish button again and upon doing so it will now successfully publish the website that we just customized and now let's try to see or view the published site that we just created and to do that just click this publish and click view publish site and upon clicking on it you will be directed on the next tab in which this is basically what our published website looks like and as you can see on the navigation bar there are no privacy policy button but under this footer section if we try to click this privacy policy context we will be directed on these pages of privacy policy and if we scroll down we will be able to see here the overview and other details about the privacy policy in which it is important to have a privacy policy to inform users about the personal information collected use and share the website or application in which it builds a trust by being transparent about data practices so that is just how you can add privacy policy to footer in google sites thank you